akwaba wo ho te sei menim se wo ho ye menso me ho ye eye enye ma yinsi atwi aduyasem kakra welcome to my program learn tree with opoku we're going to continue our lesson on what three verbs and today or in this lesson we are considering four verbs and they are huna huna she shia and she huna huna to terrify or to frighten or to threaten she that is what to burn shia to meet and she to wear let's take them one after the other when we say huna huna as i've told you it means to frighten or to threaten or to terrify imagine i went to my friend and he was watching a horror movie in the presence of his children I could tell him, my friend, note that horror films terrify children. In three, I would say, Madame Fo, or Minia, that is my friend, or my brother, Madame Fo, or Minia, my friend, or my brother. This is what I would say. Minia, who say horror film, huna huna umofra. My friend, know that horror films frighten children. Madame Fo, who say horror film, huna huna umofra. You see, so huna huna means what? To terrify or to frighten or to threaten. Assuming you met a man in the way and he did something that frightened you or that threatened you, if you are telling your friend, you could say, oh, no, 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 no. What does that mean? It means he frightened me or he threatened me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. He threatened me. So when you say, oh, no, no, no. It means to threaten or to terrify or to frighten. Good. Let's go to the second verb, and that is what? She. She. It simply means to bend. To bend. So, for example, if you have pieces of paper that you don't need them, you want to bend them, and you are instructing your child to bend them, you could simply tell your child, she, 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 and that is what? Ben, Ben, she. But if you want to be more specific and you want to say, Ben the papers, then you say, She in Kratan, She in Ben the papers. In means what? Papers. That is plural for in Singular is what? Krata. But plural, we have what? Nkrata. So, bend the papers. You will say, She nkrata. She nkrata. The note that ends it is a definite article. And that is what? De. De. De nkrata. But three, the definite articles come after the noun. It's not like English where we have the definite article coming before the noun. The papers. You see that the comes before the papers, but the in P, the will come after the papers. In krata no, the papers. She in krata no, bend the papers. So when we say she, it means to burn something. However, if someone says, "Oh, this man, he bends in P." This is just a literal meaning. 
if he says this man bends in P he will say Ure Ure that is this man Ure she Ure she it means he smokes in their heads he smokes in their heads and so if you are in Ghana and someone tells you worship worship it means he is saying that you you smoke in their head worship or or shit oh you don't know or shit meaning he smokes in their head he smokes in their head or shit or shit he smokes in their head the all that you see is what or no or no and as we have learned when or no meets a verb or when or no is acting as a subject to a verb then it loses the no and then the all is written together with the verb so it is or no shit but the rule says that the no should be hot eliminated and it will become hot or and then the verb shit is written together so when we say or she it means he smokes in their hand or she smokes in their hand or she good let's go to the third verb and that is shia 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 when we say shia it means to meet to meet so if i want you to meet me somewhere on phone i could inform you okay shia me woho or shia me ho shia me ho meet me there shia me ho ho means what there ha means what here so if i want to say okay meet me here then i'll say shia me ha shia me ha meet me here but if I want to say meet me there, then I'll say Shia me ho. Shia me ho. Meet me there. There. Ho. Meet me there. Shia me ha. Meet me here. So when you say Shia, it means what? To meet. Meet. Good. Another example we can say two cars have what? Collided. Two cars have collided. In three, we will say, A shame me no a shame. A shame is what? Transport or a vehicle. All right. So if we want to say two vehicles or two cars have collided, in three, we will say, A shame me no a shame. Meaning they have had what? A head on collision. A shame me no a shame. Two cars have met like that so when we say shia it means to meet to meet let's go to the final verb and that is what she 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 simply means to wear to wear i can say me she that is i wear me she after the fita or my she i have worn my she at a defeater i have worn white shirt or white atta my shirt at a defeater i have worn white atta or me shirt at a defeater i wear white shirt good so this is where we draw the curtains down but let's try to recap the main verbs that we have learned. And they are huna huna, and that is what? To threaten or to frighten. She, to ban. Shia, to meet. And she, to wear. Good. I know by now you are getting more and more key verbs. With more key verbs and with few nouns. You will be able to speak the P language. So keep watching this channel and please subscribe 
to give me that kind of what motivation to keep on giving you more and share and give it to also what a thumbs up thanks for watching